After the um, surgery and after the chemotherapy, um, there was still another hurdle to go. I think the radiotherapy. Yes. And then there's potentially maintenance treatment with tamoxifen. Yes. Um, yeah. Any any issues with the radiotherapy? Um, I just think with the fact that you have chemo and radio, it just makes you tired more, and it's just a you know an impact of them two together. In, and you thinking that you can, now that you've um, come off your um, chemo, that you can do a lot more things. But with having the radiotherapy, it does make you tired and you have to pace yourself. So there was a combination effect yeah. um, with the chemo and radiotherapy combined. And, and when did that start, do you think, the, the fatigue? Um, I think the fatigue started um, probably a couple of weeks after... Um, after the chemo, yes. but it was more more towards the end of the chemo because it, I think it was more of the build up of the chemo that was going through. Yeah, um, you're feeling more tired. How severe would you say the fatigue was? Was it a kind of fatigue you'd experienced before, or something new for you? Uh, new. Yeah. Yeah. And was it there um, most of the time or intermittent? Um, I'd say it was there most of the time. Mm. Um, some days were worse than others. Uh, some days where you feel that you're so tired you can't get up um, or you could sleep all day long. And did rest um, give you a sense of recharging? Uh, um, was it still a problem, even resting? Even resting, I, I felt um, in, felt tired. Mm. And you felt tired when you woke up. Mm. Um, and even now, I would say I still suffer from fatigue. And what was the sense of uh, what the effect of activities, if you did something exertional, did yeah. it make it better or no effect or worse? Um, I, always try to, I always try to go out for walks, mm. even though I had got fatigue, yeah. um, you know. Not as generally recommended, to yeah. try and push through it a little bit. But you see, I used to walk, um, I'd always been into walking and mm. that, um, but, and I was quite fit beforehand. Yeah, yeah that um, also helps. But um, I couldn't walk. Um, we used to go around the lakes and my mm. husband had to drive me up to the lakes yeah. and I'd walk around the lakes and that would be about as much as I could yeah. manage um, and then drive back in the car. So in a sense, by what you could walk before and then the effect of the fatigue, you know, and what you could do after, you could actually measure that difference. It yeah. was really quite profound. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially on chemo. Mm. I could not have um, done, you know, that much. But um, I mean, since afterwards, I, I've done quite a lot of walking, mm. but um, which is okay. But I, I still find it hard to do um, strenuous exercise. Yeah. So in a way, that's been a residual effect that's never fully improved. Yes. It's yeah. it's been there. You yeah. Know, as a problem in the background. Yeah. But has it partially improved such that it's still? I know it's not 100%, but is it is it much better than um, it was? It was much better. I mean, before, you know, I struggled to go up hills and mm. things like that. Um, and yes, I can do it now, but I have to take my time. Yeah. But I can, I, can, I will do it, mm. but it's not as as fast as I would like. Have you ever, have you ever found anything that's helped the fatigue? Um, sometimes resting actually, although it seems logical and what you want to do, and resting can form a, a kind of de deconditioning effect. Um, yeah. And sometimes the opposite is needed, which is actually an activity program, but it's very hard to do it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's probably because your body feels weak and mm. it's, it's getting um, you to do that. Yes. When your body feels weak, you don't want to do it because you feel weak, but you, you need to do it. Precisely. So, um, yeah. Did you ever find an answer that was helpful for you? Um, just, I think the answer is to do, carry on um, doing lots of walks or activities every single day mm. and, and try and build it up from there. I think so, yes. Begin at a low baseline but gradually yeah, build up. Yeah. Try to avoid deconditioning, which means resting for undue periods. Yeah. Try to think of yourself as um, almost like your own personal trainer. Yeah. But um, do it gradually rather than in uh, stops and starts. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Mm.